It's a unique production featuring short works from some of the country's most talented playwrights centered around the seven deadly sins, and it couldn't come at a better time. They have been a year and a half without theater. You can tell how much they really needed it. But also, it's kind of fantastic that we've taken over three streets in the meatpacking district. As an architect and a New Yorker, to me, um, the pandemic has made it clear that the city without people is like an empty theater. Tony Award-winning set designer David Rockwell has transformed storefronts on West 13th and the Gans of Ward streets into vivid performance spaces for the summer theatrical event. And choosing the perfect location was a collaborative effort. We walked from neighborhood to neighborhood to figure out where there were enough interesting windows to do this. So it was a process of elimination, looking at different locations. And then we worked with DOT in the city to uh, partner to allow these pop-up theaters to happen. And when it comes to the perfect set design, he says it's all about supporting the action and bringing the vision of writer and director Moises Kaufman to life. Each one of these edges is a sharp profile that follows the foliage and leads your eye to uh, the field of color. And these apples that are front lit uh, can backlight uh, when they need to. Pride, wrath, greed, envy, sloth, gluttony, and lust. The audience has taken on a tour of their inner demons as they cycle through these special design storefronts. The plays are in 10 minute intervals with a few minutes in between for breaks. Chairs and rugs are set up in this location every night. Each guest given a headset that's been sanitized and hooked up to a transmitter, allowing them connection to a unique audience experience. And a unique spin on the seven deadly sins. When we talk about pride, we always think that it is such a wonderful thing, and most of the times it is a wonderful thing to be proud about who you are and whatnot. Sometimes it can be subverted, and it can, you know, not be everything that we need. In the in our in the LGBTQ community, we need much more than just pride. It is a funny take on greed. It's about two siblings fighting, two siblings fighting over an inheritance and what happens between them as they fight over the inheritance. Seven Deadly Sins runs through July 25th. In Chelsea, I'm Stacey Ann Gooden, Pix 11 News.